So as I said in one of my last videos, I don't know specifically when it will come out, I'm filming a ton of reactions in a row here before I go on vacation. This is being posted while I'm in Florida and I'm in Ontario, Canada right now. And I just listened to Slipknots before I forget for the first time. And I was like, okay, I could go to a Rush song right after. I could do Greta Van Fleet. But I think Metallica is the most appropriate one to follow that up with. That was a great song, and I'm really excited to listen to The Four Horsemen for the first time. I know that this is one of their biggest songs, one of their best songs, especially from Kill Em All. I think this one and Seek and Destroy are their most popular. I've already heard Seek and Destroy, so I won't do a reaction to that, obviously, because that's stupid when people react to songs they've already heard, and like multiple times especially. But this song I haven't heard. I don't really know anything about it. All I know is it's 7 minutes and 13 seconds, so it's a longer one, but I'm very excited. I guess that's all. I have to say, let's get into it. Oh, building with the volume. Oh, I like that effect. It sounds so young. Only 30 seconds into the song, they start singing. <laughs> mirror. Okay, he still has that mirror like sound. Wow, okay. Pretty wicked scream for being young. Of course. I love that. Damn, is this like some medieval song almost? Still pretty sick for him being young. It's actually good in general. Of course. We're only two minutes into the song, we still have five minutes left. That's great. There it is, yep. I love how that keeps repeating. Oh, didn't expect that. Yeah, and lots of repeating riffs, because it's Metallica, but I love it. It's obviously not a complaint, that's a big compliment. This is heavy. I know I'm smiling, but this is heavy. Definitely a staple of thrash metal. Oh, the bass coming in. I like that. Oh, ha, no, it's like, nope, Kirk's turn. Oh, 
top five guitarist of all time for me. I love how it's on both both sides. Definitely an, an 80s rock type thing. Whoa, this song is so good. That was a quick two minutes. I just started going like this and it perfectly like matched up with the drums. Damn. Cause there's a hammer on the album cover. Pretty awesome scream. <laughs> Very like throat throaty. Is that a word? Oh well. Whoa. This must hurt their wrist, just like you know, it's Metallica and they're they're downstroke down picking, so I can imagine this kills. Oh. I didn't expect that tone, but I love it. Wow. Wow. If they get through this live, I'll be so impressed. Oh, that's so wicked. <laughs> God damn. That was great. I feel like it it's some medieval song. You can definitely tell James Hetfield is very young <laughs> and that he is, his voice is a lot higher and he, he goes for those screams and they're very like throaty, like die. <laughs> and like it, it's very, you know, almost like, slightly in puberty um well, that came out in 83 right so he would have been 20 there or maybe 19 when they recorded that i don't remember exactly so that's i mean that's really impressive not just for his age i'm not just being like giving them you know like oh you're young it's okay no like that song was wicked of course you know kirk Hammond. i assume that was him on that song i think that was after dave mustaine like had left i'm pretty sure he left before kill em all was released if i remember correctly i'm not 100 percent sure you can correct me down below but that that sounds a lot like his soloing so that'd be awesome Awesome. Okay, so there's a few, a few, whoa, cool things here. I'm not gonna edit that out because that was funny and that was like my fourth try at saying that. Dave Mustaine brought this song to the band and worked on it with James Hetfield and Lars. I'm not even gonna try to say his last name because I never can. At the time, they called it The Mechanic, if I'm saying that correctly, and included it on their 1982 demo cassette, No Life Till Leather. After Mustaine was fired from the band in 1983, Metallica released Kill Em All with a reworked version of this song, renamed The Four Horsemen. Mustaine's new group, Megadeth, of course, release it as Mechanics as the last track on their first album, Killing Is My Business. Mustaine's version has completely different lyrics, but the music is very similar. Since the Metallica song had been out for a while, Mustaine would often introduce Mechanics in concert by explaining there was a track that he wrote with Metallica. Yeah. That's, that's understandable, pretty cool. The Four Horsemen is a biblical reference in the New Testament. The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse go in different directions to spread the word of the end of the world. The concept of the Four Horsemen is not limited to the Bible. In 1924, a sports
sports writer referred to the Notre Dame football team's backfield as the Four Horsemen. I know I'm reading a lot here and I'm tiring myself out, that's okay. And the school had the players pose on horses with their uniforms on to publicize the team, publicize, whatever, however you say that, which is coached by the legendary Nut Rockney, if I'm saying that properly. Again, I apologize. The photo became famous when it was picked up by wire services and the nickname stuck for Metallica. The four horsemen could refer to the four members of the band. I didn't even think of that one. I did not think of them. The, the rest um, here I'll read after as I always do, but that song was pretty badass. Like James Hetfield definitely has some younger vocals and I'd like to hear them perform it live because there's a ton of really difficult solos and the instrumental part goes on for even longer here because it is a longer song. You know, the singing starts even before 30 seconds, I think. And still they, you know, have the song be like, what is it? Seven, seven minutes and 13 seconds was the one I downloaded. I assume that's just the normal one, but yeah, this was great. I'm going to listen to this one more and more. I don't know if I like this or Seek and Destroy more, but I want to know what you think. Tell me which one you prefer down below, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Over and out.